What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. Man, today we've got the long-awaited and highly anticipated Bonafide SS127 kayak review, y'all. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so Devin and I got these kayaks about four months ago. We got two of the 2020 colors. This is the Endless Summer, which has a unique color pattern on the seat. And then we also have the Venom behind it. Because when it comes to the Bonafide lineup, you've got a few options. I'm gonna tell you about them before you get to ours because the MSRP on these is a little bit higher. If you're strictly thinking budget, then you can go for something like the RS117 priced at 1,000 bucks. Less standing room, a few less amenities when it comes to rail accessories. It's just something to keep in mind. I'm not gonna cover that one in depth. Obviously, this is a 127 review. The RS117, it's easy to keep track of how long these are. That is 11 foot seven inches now the next step up is going to be the ss 107 that is actually 10 foot seven inches so a little bit shorter but more of a standing deck similar to these kayaks here this is going to be the big ss 127 you guys so it is a 12 foot seven inch kayak the thing's almost a 13 footer plenty of standing space the ultimate instability we're going to go ahead and take you through this from the front to the back starting off with simply the carry handle you got this bad boy right here there's also rubber grommets on the back of the boat at the very tail end so you can drag these things with no problem as for the weight, they're about 85 pounds without the seat, about 100 pounds once you've got the seat on there. Plus, you're going to be loading up with gear. The capacity for these guys is about 475 pounds, so they've probably got you covered with all your gear, regardless of what you're tossing on this thing. So, first off, you've got this big storage compartment up front. You can unlock it from the front, or you can unlock it from the rear and open it the other direction. It's got a wire attachment, so it doesn't go flying anywhere. And literally, if you're doing a multi-day trip, you could store a lot of equipment inside of this kayak. You could even get your rods down in here, I would assume, but for sure your life vests, your extra tackle, you can toss down here in the front. And Bonafide's now offering a new compartment that goes right here in the front, and you have quick access to your tackle on the fly. We can just open the front right here and we'll have access to all of our tackle, all of our baits on the fly, and so that new compartment is pretty slick. Up Now grabbing this paddle, you guys will notice there's this strap in the front. This comes in very handy. Let's say you're kayaking along and you see a spot you wanna fish, you just slap that right there underneath that strip. Stand up, make your cast. Literally, it's the perfect place for the paddle. It's nice and quiet. You're not setting it down and making a lot of noise. You're not having to fiddle with locking it in on the side of your kayak. You literally go to where you wanna go, slide it right in there. Now on the SS127, you have tons of rail mounts for a lot of accessories. We have very few, but one of the few things we do have is a GoPro mount. So we've got this guy right here that attaches. Get a second angle on our GoPro if we don't want the traditional chest mount. There's many other options you can buy on the market. You can place these all around the boat with all the different rails, but that is one of the few accessories we have, and we keep that in our dry pod. This thing right here, completely legit, sealed tight for all your mobile devices. We put GoPro batteries in here. You can put base tackle. You can do anything you want, really, but this is going to be your dry storage. Locks down with two clips. Simple as that. Adjustable foot levers. So depending on your height, you can ride in comfort. Sliding is very easy. There's just one little switch to adjust them. And then let's say you come up on a spot you want to fish in shallow water. We also have these Yak Attack parking poles that you can insert into your scupper holes for up to about seven foot depth. So this is uh, excellent if you're looking for an alternative to your anchor in shallow water. Maybe you get on a spot in the spawn in the spring and you want to lock in your location. Just like a set of power poles on your boat, you have this Yak Attack parking pole doing just that. Now, when it comes to standing room, you have so much, it's just ridiculous. Devin and I both probably stand on these kayaks and fish and higher winds than most people would even take their kayaks out in. I mean, it could be 15 miles an hour plus and we're still standing. These things have so much stability, it's ridiculous. If you're in a kayak right now where you think about like tipping over just when sitting, this is taking it to the next level, you guys. We feel so comfortable on these kayaks and you have ample space to really spread out and do your thing. Hammer those hook sets. Now with the seat, it's a high rise seat and there's so much adjustability and it really locks in. This is one great thing about these kayaks. We literally have our kayaks locked in on our way to the lakes and ponds on the trailer and they stay put. These things are not going anywhere. Foldable, you can fold up to the front by tilting that forward, you get quick access to kind of like your trash drawer. You guys would see me use this much more in the videos to just slide out and grab baits, but I don't do that very often because I have the big camera sitting down here with the microphone and so I don't want to damage that. Otherwise, you'd be seeing me slide this out left and right as I'm going to make those switches, grab my pliers, grab my scale, etc. Very simple. If you want to adjust the seat for a little bit more height, you can take these back a step, take these back two steps, and lock them in with those clips there. Yeah guys, everything on these kayaks is truly built to last from ground up, made in the USA. The working our way back guys, we've got a lot of empty space. So let me go ahead and take you guys over to Devon's Endless Summer Color and we'll show you what we've got on the back here. We have one of these black boxes. Now there's so many options on the market. You can even go cheap and just get a little carton from like the store. You can just put on little rod holders that you buy individually or you can go all out and buy one that's pre-made. 
And what this is gonna do is allow you to keep multiple combos rigged and ready in a vertical position. We've got our net here as well. This is a Yak Attack foldable net. This thing has come in handy for some big fish. This of course allows you to have combos ready on the back instead of just up here taking up your deck space. You can keep them in a vertical position right there and you're gonna be ready on a moment's notice to switch your combos whenever you feel the need. So I've seen people with as little as maybe two rod holders on these things, and I've seen guys that have one, two, three, four on each side, and they are decked out to the brim with combos. You just do whatever works for you, but I think one of these boxes is essential. And then inside, you've got a lot of space for backpack, vests, anything else that you would want to carry with you. We have an anchor in here. I strongly suggest one of these fold-out anchors as opposed to one of those mushroom head ones. What's going to happen with those mushrooms is that if they're not very heavy, you're still going to drift in the wind. With this guy right here, this will catch that claw on grass, and it will really keep you locked in your position. When you're fishing a little bit deeper, water too much for those parking poles to handle like say more than five six feet you start to go out deeper but you're on a good location fish are biting drop down the anchor good to go i believe this is a 10 pound right here Devin spoiled too <laughs> and she's got a cup holder on hers this thing comes in handy too because without it you really are kind of uh out of luck when it comes to your drinks but also it makes for a good trash bin too so if you're just retying baits you burn through some plastics toss them in here makes for an excellent little trash or just use it for your cup holder so now guys on the back side you are preset to install a rudder you also have the handle on the back that is fold out and honestly, when it comes to paddle kayaks, these are gonna be one of your best options. When it comes to styling, some of my favorites on the street. I mean, these things look aggressive. I really like the look. Of course, there's tons of other color options out there on the market. If you guys are looking for something that's pedal driven or even a motor to drop down in the center of your kayaks, you're gonna to have to go with another option. But these things are top of the line when it comes to the paddle kayaks. Sit stand kayaks, I wouldn't have anything else, man. Now guys, they do have these side straps and that is perfect for when you're actually in transit or carrying these kayaks and you do have your paddle off to the side as opposed to just under the strap there or take these parking poles, for example, they fit perfectly. They're locked in tight, not going anywhere. Also, I did wanna mention it's very common for me to maybe have two rods up here in the front with me. Up to three sometimes, but I do like to keep the deck space clear. Your butt ends of your rods can fit in these slots right here, and then they taper right across the front here, so it's not uncommon for me to have maybe one or two rods up here. So as I'm using my one main combo, maybe I've got something else to throw on the fly, switch from a moving bait to a bottom bait or a top water very quickly and not reach behind me. That is also a perfect place for a couple rods with you up front. So guys, as easy as these kayaks are to just carry by yourself, it's also extremely simple using both handles to uh, lug these things down to the water. Which also brings up another point. Landing gear, y'all. There is some great landing gear options out there on the market. Essentially some wheels so that you can just carry your kayak with ease, long hauls down to the water if maybe you're parking far away. Once you've got your kayak loaded, sometimes it is a little bit of a chore taking it all the way down to the water. So a set of landing gear might be on your list of things to buy. All right, guys, and lastly, transportation, man. Devin and I have found the perfect setup for us. It is a 12 by six trailer. I know it may not be what works best for you, and of course, there's a lot of freedom and just having one kayak on top of your vehicle via roof racks that are available, or even with something like a bed extender out of your pickup, or, or without a bed extender for that matter, but the bed extenders do help. So specifically with these SS-127s, man, almost a 13 foot kayak, they're gonna stick out of the bed of your truck a little way, so just make sure they're strapped down really good. Two is gonna be very tough, especially if you've got a smaller bed truck. One is manageable. Uh, but for two, the trailer has really worked wonders for us. Check this out. With a 12 by six trailer, they're literally pinned to the back of the trailer and they're locked down here in the front. It really could not get any better. And so you don't have to do anything with these kayaks as far as tying them down to be secure for traveling guys. So this has made trips so much easier. Literally, you just get the trailer, hook it up to the truck and you go. The seats stay on the kayaks because they're locked down tight unlike some other options on the market. You're literally just ready to hit the water, put a few things on the yak and get in there and start fishing. All right guys, and that concludes the review of the Bonafide SS 127s. If you guys are looking for the ultimate in fishing stand kayaks, these things are it. If you're looking for a bad to the bone paddle setup that you can go in shallow water, you can hit the creeks, you can hit the big lakes, these things have got you taken care of, man. We're gonna go ahead now and roll some clips of us catching some big fish on these things to close out the video. Enjoy.
Georgia. Finish off on the citizen. He's not small. Guys, this is what we're freaking talking about. So if I get a big fish, I'm probably screwed right now. And I'm drifting into trees and my rods are up. Oh God! And my seat's not there. <laughs> and my fish is on. Get me out of here! My rods! Yo, chill! 